Thank you. I've had a massive personal year. I've just become a dad. Thank you very much, that's right. I'm not a virgin, I've had sex. Um, we named our son Isa, which is actually the uh, Arabic version of Jesus. Uh, and like Jesus, our son is brown and Muslim. So, uh, <laughs> he's a very cute baby. He's incredibly cute, probably cuter than any baby anyone here could produce. Uh, <laughs> I mean it. Uh, that's because most of you are, are white. White people don't make cute babies. White babies are not cute. All white babies look like Peter Hellier. And uh, <laughs> that's a fact. I texted him, I said, can I say this joke? And he texted me back and he said, yeah, sure. Uh, in fact, that joke will stop 75% of pedophilia in the future. So <laughs> you can't make pedophilia jokes. Pedophilia jokes are like the cardinal sin of comedy, aren't they? So. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying prison, bitch. Anyway. <laughs> well, one of my friends, uh, a white friend, I've got one, she, uh, she said before my son was born, she said, what are you gonna name him? Are you gonna give him a name that's too Muslim? You don't give him a name that's too Muslim. And I was like, that's a bit rich, coming from a white woman who named her son Clint. That is the whitest name <laughs> on the planet. I couldn't just go up to someone on the street and be like, oh, hey, what, what's your son's name? Oh, Shane, isn't that a bit too bogany? Oh, sorry, Mrs. Warren, sorry about that. I was furious. I came home. I was pacing back and forth, too Muslim. -y. What's too Muslim? -y? I was like, am I justified feeling this angry? I asked my daughter. I said, hey, Muhammad, uh, <laughs> do you think am I overreacting? She goes, I don't know. Ask your other son, Sharia law. Um, <laughs> someone actually asked me if I was going to raise my son Muslim. I said, yeah. She goes, why? I said, because it's the correct religion. Um, <laughs> and that'd normally get a standing ovation. Uh, at the mosque, but uh... <laughs> and she started telling me off. She was like, "Oh right, okay, you call yourself progressive, Nazim, but now you're just forcing religion on an innocent child. People should be able to decide for themselves what they want to believe in when they're old enough. You know, like you wouldn't mutilate your son without his permission. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't circumcise him without asking, would you?" I said, "No, I have, but I said no." <laughs> so, so why would you impose your beliefs? And I didn't know. What, I was gobsmacked. I said, "Look, can you just make my McFlurry? I'm in a bit of a rush, you know." <laughs> I went home, I was overcome with guilt. I thought, I'm how arrogant, imposing my beliefs on this kid. He should be able to decide, make these big decisions for himself when he's old enough, after he's been exposed to all ways of living life. That's our job as parents. So each day, I raise him something completely different. Uh, on Monday, I raise him Christian, so I let him play with other kids. And uh, on Tuesday, don't laugh at that, that's... Um... <laughs> On Tuesday, he's vegan, so we crawl around in the backyard eating grass, and uh, <laughs> then we make people feel really uncomfortable in social situations. <laughs> and we, and we sleep for the rest of the day. Um, Wednesday, he's atheist, so that means he just does whatever he likes. Now, there's no rules, no consequences, no heaven, hell. He enjoys it for the first hour, and then he starts to feel this real deep, empty void within his soul. <laughs> And I put him to sleep, but he wakes up from his nap. She's like, does anything even matter anymore? Is Ricky Gervais God or is it Richard Dawkins? Ah! I put him to sleep, I'm like, relax. Tomorrow is Thursday, and Thursday he gets to be African. And because uh, we're in Melbourne, you know, that means he runs around the streets terrorising white people and uh, <laughs> attempts to steal their shit. On Friday, he gets to be white, uh, and that means he runs around the streets terrorising black people and actually steals all their shit. <laughs> uh, on Saturday, he gets to be Jewish. So it's a fun day, we just sit in front of the couch, in front of the TV, on the couch, just watching TV. I, I give him the remote so that he can control the media a bit. And, uh, <laughs> and then he does my tax returns. Uh, that's an anti-Semitic laugh, by the way, don't laugh. Um, but Sunday is the best day of the week, he gets to be Muslim. So, you know, he's, he's very charitable, he smiles a lot, um, rescues animals, good to his parents, good to his neighbours. Just a, what, a, what a great guy. Um, and, then, and then he double parks on the main road, so. Listen, you guys have been awesome, thank you very much, thank you.